Drivers who frequent the Waco traffic circle may have noticed something a little different lately. Yeah, and we're not just talking about the new restaurant. The Texas Department of Transportation added new markers to help local drivers as well as tourists better navigate the circle. But there are some who have mixed opinions about it. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live in Waco and has been monitoring traffic there all day. Good morning. Oh, good evening, Jasmine. Well, Chris and Leslie, the Waco Police Department says there have not been an uptick in traffic crashes since the markers have been placed, but drivers I spoke to today told me that when they enter this circle, they still proceed with caution. Drivers in Waco know when you approach this traffic circle, there's no time for distraction. So to make things easier, the Texas Department of Transportation added white stripes around the circle, but not everyone is happy. And I'm so used to knowing how it goes without those lines. Once they painted the lines for the direction, it, it confused me a little bit, and I think it makes things a little more hectic. I took the drive around the circle myself to see what may have been so confusing. TxDOT says their intent is to eliminate traffic around the circle. They say drivers are supposed to use these new right turn bypass lanes that I'm in to exit onto Highway 77 or LaSalle Avenue. Some drivers say this is a plus. I think that they made things better because I feel like it's a little more organized, less accidents, hopefully in the future. I also noticed this singular circle lane carries drivers around the entire circle, and the lanes with the I-35 shields will put you back on the highway. Some drivers say they still worry. It's, it's, it's still kind of new to everybody that I'm still kind of scared. TxDOT says the new markings also help out-of-towners get to Chip and Joanna Gaines' Magnolia table without causing accidents. Locals have a message for the tourist. I would stay away from that area just for a little bit. You know, let's ride around with somebody, maybe an Uber for once, and then, and then you know, get used to it. Now, the Texas Department of Transportation say they understand that there will be a learning curve for drivers. They said they plan to monitor traffic for the next three to six months to see if they need to make any changes or add new signage. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.